Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to another grocery haul. Today I did Walmart pickup and then I'm also going to play with a new gadget that I got for Christmas and I'm going to show y'all how it works. Hopefully it works like it's supposed to and it's a success. We shall see. So I'm back from my little YouTube break. I took the last week off and I'm back to share with y'all a grocery haul. Um, obviously I did not put on makeup this morning. I just woke up, this is second day hair, woke up, ran to the grocery store and thought, let me film this for y'all. I got some good stuff. Um, I spent $90 and some change, 67 cents, something like that. And I think I'm going to have to go back to the grocery store later this week for something else. But I got the majority of what I needed. I got more than what I needed. I'll show you that in a second. But I also got some um, chicken breasts. And I've got to freeze some of those, the ones that I'm not using right away. And that's where my new gadget comes in hand. So here's the new gadget. My mom and dad gave me this for Christmas. I've been wanting a vacuum sealer since forever. And um, because I already know I love this brand, this is the brand that my veggie chopper is from. It's Mueller. All right, I'm gonna flip you around and show you everything I got. And then um, someone on Instagram gave me this advice and then my friend Shelly gave me this advice about how to do the vacuum sealing with fresh meats. So I'll share that with you and we'll give it a try. So yeah, let's flip around. So like I said, it was about $90 today. I got more than I needed peep the two loaves of bread not sure how that happened but oh I did not get this this is my water let me move that out of the way but everything else I got so let's get started the first thing I'm going to show you was actually a substitution I ordered three rolls of crescent rolls in the great value brand and they were out of them so that was a good deal because I got them at the great value price but I got Pillsbury crescent rolls we needed some more coffee creamer and it's been a minute since I've had this one. I really love this chocolate caramel in the great value. It's really good. Um, I got this spicy jalapeno cream cheese. So the last grocery haul that I did, I made um, a new breakfast recipe with crescent rolls, sausage and cream cheese. And I'm gonna try it again. And this time I'm gonna use spicy jalapeno cream cheese just to kick it up a notch. I got some string cheese. And to go along with that, it's pepperoni to make pizza roll-ups with crescent rolls. I got some frozen broccoli, two things of that, some frozen, frozen, frozen hash browns. I got hash browns, our favorite um, chips, y'all know, jalapeno, salt, and vinegar in the great value. We like them better than the Lay's and they're way cheaper. Some Olive Garden Italian dressing. I used the rest of ours that we had on hand. And um, we can't be without that. We love that stuff. Got some little Smokies. Three cans of cream of chicken soup. Um, I need a couple and then I always like to have one on hand. And I used everything I had over the last few weeks. This was another substitution. <laughs> I ordered a small jar of the Kosher Petite Dill Pickles. And they were out of it. I ordered the 16 ounce. They gave me the 46 ounce for the same price. This was $2.64. So that was a great substitution, but now it's going to take up a lot more room in the fridge, but that's okay because we love these. I got a couple of things of um, the Lipton soup mixes, the onion mushroom and the beefy onion. I already have regular onion on hand. I just like keeping those on hand just to have them for any reason, really. They really do add a lot of flavor to different recipes. These are the chicken breasts that I got. Their chicken breasts are always so thick, so usually I cut them in half. Um, so I will prep all of that. I'm going to keep a couple out for a recipe, but the rest I'm going to freeze and we'll see how that goes. Needed some more bacon because we go through bacon like it's going out of style. Got some Knorr pasta sides and Knorr rice sides, the butter and herb and the cheddar broccoli. Steven has been loving snacking on pecans lately, so I got him another bag of those. Here's where something went wrong. I don't remember choosing both of these. But that's okay. I can freeze one loaf. It'll be okay. I don't know how this happened, but it's, I checked my receipt. I definitely, I mean, it's, it's on there, so whatever. 
We were almost out of parchment paper and I needed this for when I'm vacuum sealing. I'll show you that in a minute. But got some more of that, an English cucumber, some bananas, mainly for banana bread because I haven't made it in a minute and I love banana bread. So I got that. Some um, grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. Which one are these? Grape tomatoes. Some lettuce. We needed more russet potatoes. I got our favorite drinks, the Clear American in the black raspberry, cherry lemonade, and peach nectar. And then another thing of this, I love the cherry vanilla sparkling water as well. And Gracie Lou needed some food. So I got her some of this hairball care food. And there's my coffee. It's proof that it's morning time and I needed something to get me going before I headed out. All right, y'all look at that mess down there. Okay, we're gonna pretend that's not there. Whoop. There we go. That's everything I got from the grocery store. Now, let me tell you a little bit about how we're gonna do this. This one just snuck in here. Where am I supposed to look? Right here. Oh, right there. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. He's off this week, which is really nice. That is nice. I don't know. We're about to go to, uh, where are we going? I don't know. You know. We talked about this. <laughs> I'm thinking Cracker Barrel. We're going to Cracker. 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 Not Crackle. Right. Cracker. Do y'all say that? Crackle Barrel? Cracker Barrel. Crackle Barrel. <laughs> crackle barrel. <laughs> We're going to the Cracker, as we call it. The Cracker. We go to two different places for breakfast. That's a much younger Steven on that mug right there. His mug on a mug. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we go to two different places for breakfast. We're not IHOP fans. The IHOP, and we're not Denny's fans. Ooh, look at what you got. So we either go to Cracker or what's the other breakfast place that we like? The Awful Waffle. Waffle House. All right. Let me put these up and then I will show you what we're going to do with the vacuum sealer. Okay. It is much later in the afternoon, but I'm finally going to attempt to do this. So if you're interested, if you don't have a food saver, ooh, I think that's a name brand. If you don't have a vacuum sealer by Mueller, then this is what all comes with it. So it came with a roll of the vacuum seal. It's not bags, you have to make it into a bag, I think. But it did come with a few vacuum seal bags, so I'll just go ahead and take advantage of these today. It came with this, which I think this is if you were like have something in a canister or a can and you're wanting to take air out. And then of course the machine itself. You've got two different vacuum modes. I think the most common one that you're gonna use is airtight. And then you choose food. Do you see what word that is? I know you do, I hate that word. Anyway, ooh, look at my greasy fingers. Um, you choose what type of food you have, wet or dry. And then this is just the seal function if you want to like seal a bag of potato chips or if you're wanting to turn this into a bag, you would seal one end of it. This is the vacuum seal where it's gonna actually suck all the air out and seal it. And then of course, just a manual stop button. And then over here you have your release buttons on either side when it's done. So the first thing and the, the tip that I heard a couple of times is to partially freeze the meat beforehand on parchment paper and then when it's time to vacuum seal it it will not suck all the juices out of your meat causing you to have dry meat so I've got some extra chicken I used part of the chicken for tonight's dinner you will see that in what's for dinner on Friday um, but the other the rest of the chicken I need to portion out and put in vacuum seal bags but before I do that I am going to partially freeze it on some parchment paper. So I had to freeze them longer than 30 minutes. They froze for like an hour and 15 minutes and not because they necessarily needed it. I haven't even looked at them yet. Um, I got a Google calendar reminder that popped up on my phone and said, hey, you have a chiropractor appointment in 20 minutes. And I live 20 minutes from the chiropractor. So I had to rush out the door. Yeah, anyway. So let's get these out of the freezer and see what we think. Okay, they look really good. Again, they do not look pink on camera, which is so odd. I don't know why the coloring is messed up, but um, they look pretty good and they seem to be pretty frozen, so let's do this. Okay, so I read 
how to do it, but it has the instructions inside of here too. Um, this is the little vacuum, so I wanna make, oh, I'm sorry. This is the little vacuum. I wanna make sure that the bag is not covering the vacuum. Like that's very important. Okay, so I have them, I have two chicken breasts in each bag. Now we're going to, you wanna make sure that there's at least three inches at the top, which there's more than three inches, so we're good. Now we're just going to lay this here. Okay, so I've got my bag here. My bag needs to be like right in the middle of this, but not covering this. Now I'm gonna close it and firmly press on both sides until we hear it click into place. And now I've got it set to the right settings, airtight, wet, and we're gonna hit vacuum seal. Now it's sealing. Oh, it's done. Now I just press the buttons on either side and open it up, so. Da -da -da. Look at that. Oh, this is fun. Okay, let's do another one. That, my friends, is pretty neat. So I'm just gonna write on it with a permanent marker, I guess. I might have some little stickers um, to write the date on there, but I love this. Oh my goodness, so cool. So that's fun. I can't wait to go stock up on a lot of meat and do some vacuum sealing. It's like my new hobby. <laughs> but thank y'all so much for following along today. I hope you enjoyed this very different grocery haul. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That really does help out my channel. And if you haven't already and you like grocery hauls and you like food related things, you should totally subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button before you leave. Thanks y'all. And I will see you on Friday. Bye.